Botox Beauty, and this is my look for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I just wanted to do like all pink, all pink eyeshadow, pink blush, pink lips to bring awareness because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month to anyone who watches this video. So, um, wear pink this month and do pink makeup this month because we're trying to bring awareness to breast cancer. So I have like sort of like a pink lighter pink daytime smoky eye with um, a really true pink lip and some pink blush just to uphold the theme of pink. I just want to say really quickly that um, once I'm done with all my like sort of Halloween tutorials, you know, October is over, I'm going to actually make a bunch of like sort of more boring but necessary staple videos like my brows and my foundation routine and my contour and highlight routine and false lashes and winged liner just because I think it's repetitive to do them in every video and um, I think I can bring something to the table with those because like I've got some small lids so my winged liner will be um, kind of valuable. I do my false lashes differently than a lot of people. I have a round face so my contour and highlight will be somewhat unique. I just want to do like some in-depth tutorials for those things just for people to see. Don't forget about my giveaway at 100 subscribers I'm doing a giveaway so you know get all your family and friends to subscribe. I do have more Halloween tutorials coming. I'm going to take a break from these crazy time lapse videos and I will have um, some, you know, in-depth tutorials for some Halloween looks. Um, and I think that's all I have to say, so please enjoy this video. Um, like, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. So if you want to see how I did this look, please keep watching. Bye! Hey, so here's me without makeup. I'm growing out my brows, which is why they're so bushy. And here's me looking like a man, and my foundation is way too light. Excuse me for putting on way too cool of a foundation. But brows are done. So first I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Cupcake on the Sigma E40. And I'm just going to dust that into my crease. Um, if you're more warm than I am, then this might not work as a transition shade. You might want something more peachy like Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. Or like a brown, like MAC Soft Brown to help you as a transition. And I'm just going to dust that all the way from inner corner to outer corner. Because I like to emphasize the roundness of my eyes. You might not want to. And then I'm going to go in with Savage from the Urban Decay Electric Palette on this little BH Cosmetics Smaller Fluffy Brush. There's an e.l.f. brush that's a near dupe for this at Walmart that you can get for like a dollar. And I'm also just going to dust that into my crease from inner to outer corner. You can just stop at the iris if you don't want to emphasize the roundness of your eyes. I just don't like how small mine are. And so I'm just going to blend this really well into Cupcake so that you get this nice gradient of pinks. Um... And that's just going to involve picking up more product, just a small bit at a time, and just diffusing it into the cupcake and just going back and forth and back and forth until I'm happy with the pigmentation. And this is already a really pigmented shadow, so just be aware of that. And then I'm going to go in with my blush, actually, on the Sigma E55. And this is NYX Baked Blush in Full On Femme, and I'm just going to dust that onto the lid and onto the inner corner just for a little pop and shimmer and to keep the theme of pink alive. And then I'm going to take my Inglot 77 gel liner and I lo the whole clip I was um, out off camera like I was leaning forward too much so I'm sorry. But I will be doing a winged liner video like I said before and I always tight line afterwards and so here you can see I just carefully you know try to put some into my upper waterline. And then I'm going in with Avon Big and Daring Mascara before my lashes. And I'm just going to coat that onto my top lashes. And then my lashes are some really dirty looking Eyelore number 155s. But they're what I have right now, so we're dealing. And yeah, I put on my lashes just with my hand. So I'll be doing a lash tutorial soon as well. And then I'm going to do my concealer. This is NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And then this is Essence All About Matte uh, Translucent Setting Powder. And then I'm just going to dust Savage onto my lower lash line and press it into my waterline. And this is what it looks like with bottom lashes. Well, bottom mascara. And then I'm going in with my Essence Sun Club Bronzer, which you can tell I love. It's matte, it's pigmented, and it smells like coconut. And I'm just going to breeze through my contour and highlight because I'll make a video on that as well. And then I'm highlighting with Physicians Formula Eye Brightener and Natural Highlight. And then using the same blush that I used on my eyes. This is um, Avon Ultra Color Rich Lipstick in... Oh, 
actually I don't know the name of it I'll have to go look and I'll put it below and then I'm just gonna put that on my lips nothing special nothing fancy but this lipstick will stay all day I promise it's like one of the only lipsticks I've ever found that maintains a satin finish that basically stains your lips like I had a hard time getting it off so this lipstick is really really pigmented and I love it it's just a super true pink without being frosty and it's, you know, red toned, no fuchsia in it at all, which I really like in a pink lipstick. And then you're done, guys. Happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month.